Welcome to the Retching Netch Corner Club, home of the finest Sue Jammer that will ever grace your lips. Have you seen the poor girl? She's a mess. Oh, she used to be richer than Councillor Morvane, and she's spending it all drowning her sorrow. As much as I love making coin, I can't watch her do that anymore. I won't. I suppose you're right. If she wants to spend her life at the bottom of an ale, Mum, it's her choice. Tell her she's welcome back any time. The finest who jam it across your lips, friend. My own personal formula that I call Sadri Sujama. In fact, I've just added some new ingredients to the mixture that I think makes it taste better than ever. All I need to do is get the war out that it's ready, and they'll flock here for it. I was kind of hoping you'd say that. Here, take these samples of the Sujama and spread the word. If you get rid of all of them, there's something extra in it for you. The mines open, people are buying drinks, and I'm making money again. Just like old times. How do you think? It's a blessing. I've got regular paying customers again. Thirsty workers at the end of the day, and more coin than I can count. There's actually a funny story behind the name, friend. A few years ago, I was walking down by the docks, and I noticed a Dunmer staggering along with a bottle of Sujama in hand. He was one of my patrons and liked to drink heavily, so I wasn't exactly surprised. Ah, but you see, this particular Dunmer was as naked as the day he was born and singing badly at the top of his lungs. As I'm watching this spectacle, a netch floats over the bulwark towards him. The man looks straight up at Fenech, yells, have a drink, and tosses the bottle. And it never hit the ground. Well, the bottle broke on Fenech, and it must have swallowed its contents because it started floating sort of tilted. Finally, it stopped and began to quiver. A few moments later, the foulest liquid to ever assail your nostrils spewed from its maw. I've seen plenty of drunks in me day, and I'll tell you right now, that netch was sick. True story, friend. True story. The Redoran Guard have spotted a pack of werewolves in the mountains. The hunters up on Frostmoon Crag might know more. Watch yourself out there. Looks like an ash storm might be brewing. Glover Mallow is the name. If you're looking for a smith, you found one of the best. Perfect. I was just thinking about heading over for a drink. Thanks for saving me the trip. I've always had a steady stream of work thanks to the Redoran Guard, so it hasn't affected me much. However, I've seen the smile on people's faces, and there's hope around here once again. Something we've been lacking for a long time. Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything that suit your needs.
Bring your weapons and armor to me. I'll fix it up right. You need something? This better not be all the things you just can't be bothered with. Either you're here to get showered in the finest weapons and armor. Bring your weapons and armor to me. I'll fix it up right. I don't know who sent you here, but you've given us something to build on here. I hope someday we can repay you for your kindness. I should mix some of this into my next potion. Who knows what would happen? Ah, so you're an alchemist then. Careful with those natures. They may look to you, but seriously hurt you with death. I work for Mogul. If you got a problem, you talk to him. We're one of the same kind, you and I. I'm glad to have met you. Well then, I suppose I'm off to do what I do best. Here, this was something I carried around in happier times. Maybe you can find a use for it. The day I refuse Sujama from Geldis is the day I sprout wings and fly off this rock. Couldn't be better. The sections that are being opened up have revealed some huge deposits of ebony. Old Crescious has a nose for exactly where to dig. If they'd only listened to him years ago, the town wouldn't have been in such dire straits. At this rate, I'll be able to put a roof over my head in just a few months. See you in the mines. What now? Anything good? Do you need something? This better not be all the things you just can't be bothered with. Got a good thing going here now. That take a look.
bring your weapons and armor to me. I'll fix it up right. I don't know what you did in those mines, but it put a smile on Cretius' face. I've never seen him so happy. Oh, that sounds lovely. Thank you. Be careful out there. You've brought so much hope to our people. We are forever in your debt. Sure, I've got nothing better to do. We have to be free from danger. Beautiful. I'm no fan of the sun. Stay that way. Be you better. I work for Mogul. You got a problem, you talk to him. Oh, hello. You looking for a handout or something? Well, tell Geldas that Miri says she really appreciates it. And don't stay away for too long. Look at me. I'm a different person. And I have you to thank for it. So you're in the mines. Your actions here have been a blessing to us all, Sergio. Always a pleasure to taste anything Geldis comes up with. Got the best merchandise on the island. Have a look for yourself. Next time you're hungry, stop by. I always have The mines are open and the shop is busy again. Thank you. At least my father will let me drink whatever I want without complaining. Tell Geldis I appreciate it. Keep yourself safe. Solstheim's still a dangerous place. My wife's quite the alchemist. Thanks to her, my ash yams are growing quicker than ever before. The Dunmer have been growing food in the Ashlands for thousands of years. It was born out of the necessity to survive in the harsh climate of our homeland. And now, with the constant eruptions of the Red Mountain, it's more important than ever. No, only the Tilvani have the ability to weave living growth from the ash. This simply takes the right ingredients, the right tools, and a lot of patience. Next time you're hungry, stop by. I always have plenty of food for sale. It's busier now that things are starting to look up. I guess I might stay a bit longer after all. Geldis needs to bottle this up and send it to the mainland instead of wasting his time out here. His drinks are outstanding. Thanks. Things are picking up for now. All I'm wondering is how long it'll take for House Redoran to begin ignoring us again if the mine runs out of ore for a second time. Bad? What if I told you that you're the first person that's even considered looking at my wares today? I've half a mind to contact my friends at the East Empire Company and see if they need an extra hand in Windhelm. Oh, absolutely. In fact, I've corresponded with Vittoria Vici herself more than once. You know, the lady who runs the East Empire Company warehouse in Solitude. The biggest warehouse they have in Skyrim. Bah, you're just like the rest of the folks around here. Mark my words, the East Empire Company will return to Raven Rock. And when they do, I'll be at the top of their list. 
mining gear. No. However, I used to sell East Empire pendants until I ran out of them. Popular little item. It's an amulet that was made exclusively for the East Empire Company. They gave them to their workers as an incentive at one point. A kind of reward for extra effort. They're no longer being made, so they've become a collectible. I'd love to get my hands on a few of them. They could be anywhere on the island. The mines might be a good place to start. If you find any while you're exploring Solstein, bring them here. The question you should be asking is, what don't I sell here? Because I have pretty much any supplies you might need. If it's not a weapon, potion, or armor, then it's likely that I have it. Jarland, over at the docks, brings me most of my supplies. And the rest comes from bartering with the people in town. Oh, Glover Mallory gets me a few things once in a while. He usually has the most amazing deals that I can't pass up. See for yourself. Take a look. The question you should be asking is, what don't I sell here? Because I have pretty much any supplies you might need. See for yourself. Empire pendants are scattered yes. all over, so leave no stone unturned. Anything good? You're making my buyer happy. Keep them coming. Everything I've got on display, really. Any supplies? I'm glad 
want to lend a hand. You must... I can't thank you enough for reopening the ebony mines. You've brought light to the darkness, my friend. What? Oh, no, thank you. I need to keep my head clear. You might think it's all perfume and roses now that the mine's open. But all I see is a new security problem on our hands. Making sure those shipments of ebony make it safely from the mine to the shipping docks is my new order of the day. And with Solstheim crawling with reavers and Azora knows what else, I can't risk any attacks on Ravenrock. I appreciate the help you've been giving us. That's the mines are open and the shop is busy again. losses in due time. Thank you. Look at me. I'm a different person. And I have you to thank for it. I work for Mokro. You got a problem. I'll give you this warning only yeah. once. Stay out of my way and we'll do just fine. Take that swill and pour it down a well. Mm -hmm. You've brought so much hope to our people. We are forever in your debt. Splendid. Another map to feed. I don't know what you did in those mines, but it put a smile on Precious's face. I to see you Counselor Morvane is the only reason Ravenrock has survived all these years. You should pay your respects. Obey our laws, or suffer the consequences. Keep moving. Plenty of work in the mine if you're looking. Trust you're not planning any trouble. What can I do for you, friend? Whether you're simply visiting or staying here, I think you'll find our citizens will welcome you with open arms. Good old Geldis is always managing to keep our spirits up, and our eyesight hazy. Thank you. Solstheim is theoretically under my rule, but without revenue from the mine, I lack the resources to actually govern anything but Ravenrock itself. Not that there's much beyond the confines of our town anyway. Well, there's a small enclave of Nords to the north in Skarl Village. They pretty much keep to themselves, and we both like it that way. Then there's Tel Mithrin to the east. The Telvani live out there. Sort of a strange lot. But since we're both from Morrowind, we get along. Other than that, Solstheim is crawling with bandits and weaklings. But that's to be expected living in a frontier like this. You've never heard of House Redoran? We're the mightiest of the great houses, and we lead the council, the ruling body of Morrowind. This isn't Skyrim, Outlander. 
A group of powerful and influential Dunma families have been ruling Morrowind for millennia. They embody a council made up of five great houses. Telvanni, Dres, Endoral, Sadras, and Redoran. Well, of course, with four other houses on the council, someone has to keep the rabble organized. Our house leads the council by virtue of our preeminence in battle, wisdom, and ancestral glory. Yes, I imagine it would to someone not of our people. If you're interested in pursuing the subject, help yourself to any of the historical volumes in my library. With the mines open, Raven Rock has become a significant colony of the Dunma people again. I've been able to convince my superiors at House Redoran to send me the resources that they've been denying, now that we're deemed more important. Soon, we'll have a steady supply of workers and materials to keep things going for years to come. My doors are open if you wish to discuss matters involving... The entire island isn't covered in ash, you know. They have huge ice fields up north, and it's freezing up there. Welcome to the Wretching Nets Corner Club, home of the finest Sue Jammer that will ever grace your lips. Perfect. All that's left now is to go ahead and wait for the patrons to come in. As promised, here's a little something for yourself. Watch yourself out there. Looks like an ash storm might be brewing. You've brought Raven Rock back from the free? Your efforts in Raven Rock have proven most invigorating for my husband. I haven't seen him this pleased in many years. <laughs> 